It's multi-step calculation time. We've got a load of numbers here and six marks to solve what the energy transferred by this gas is. It tells us the volume of a storage tank is equal to five times 10 to the power of five. It tells us the density of the air is 48 kilograms per meter cubed. That's compressed air. And it tells us the specific heat capacity of it. So I'm gonna write down the symbols here because this helps when we're looking for an equation. We are given the temperature of the air is increasing from 12 to 27 degrees. So that symbol in your equation sheet for AQA is delta theta. We're asked to calculate the energy transferred in the storage tank. And let's use an equation sheet to help us out. So this is our first one to use, one with specific heat capacity and energy in it, because that's what we're trying to find. Now for that equation, we're gonna use this one here. Energy equals mass times specific heat capacity times by change in temperature. Next, we can have a look at what we've got. So we've not got given the mass, we have got specific heat capacity, we have got change in temperature, and that's what we're trying to find. So how do we find out this mass? Well, that's where these other numbers up here come in. We've got density and we've got volume. If I look on the other side of the equation sheet, I can see I've got density equals mass divided by volume. So I can use that to find the mass for this question. So I'm gonna do that first of all. So density is 48, let's insert our values. Mass, we don't know. Volume is five times 10 to the power of five. So to find out what M is, I'm gonna to need to multiply both sides by five times 10 to the power of five put it in brackets in case I mess up my standard form. So once I do that, I get a mass of 24 million or 2.4 times 10 to the power seven. So that's in kilograms, that's a really high number. However, it is a massive storage tank in this question, so it's not too crazy. Now we've got that, we can then use this equation to work out our energy. So energy equals mass times by specific heat capacity times by change in temperature. So mass we just worked out, let's write these numbers in. Specific heat capacity is earlier in the question, that's given by 1100. And the change in temperature, it's gotta be a change, it goes from 12 to 27, so that's therefore going to be equals to 15 degrees Celsius. Once we've got all those values in, we just need to multiply them together, and it's gonna get a really big number because there's a massive amount of energy in this facility. It's gonna be 396 billion joules, which is pretty crazy. Now, the final mark in this question, which it mentions twice, is to give our answer in standard form. So to put it in standard form, sometimes your calculator will do it for you. Um, you go from the end of it and you count the decimal places until you get to a number that's between one and 10. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we go 10, 11. So 11, if I put my decimal point there, I'm gonna have 3.96 times 10 to the power 11, and that's the final mark for this question.